Muslims. What are they? I'm about to tell you for crying out loud. Muslins are wet and boggy areas filled with fantastical plants like sphagnum moss, the insect-eating sundew and cotton grass, as well as marvellous animals like dragonflies, bog bush crickets and the large heath butterfly, which is also known as the Manchester Argus. But sadly, around a hundred years ago, it died out in Manchester. Why? Because our moslins were disappearing. And they were disappearing because people were removing what makes mosslin so special. Peat. Peat is made up of dead vegetation that hasn't fully rotten away. And instead made spongy, moisture-loving peat. And without peat, there's no moss, no sun jewels, no cotton grass, and definitely no Manchester Argus. You see, the butterfly needs cotton grass so that it can move through the landscape. It needs the cotton grass to be connected. And when we extract peat to grow plants in our garden centres, or to build houses and roads on the mosslands, the butterfly loses its home, and it will disappear forever. Now you know what mosslands are, it's time to play the game. First of all, the setup. Choose five people to play as the peat extractors. Then the rest of the class are cotton grass. You can pause the film now to decide who's who. All sorted. Got five peat extractors. Everyone else is cotton grass. Good. Next, how to play. One. If you're a cotton grass, lay face down on the floor with your arms and legs stretched out like this. Two, connect with another cotton grass player by touching their hand or their foot. Make sure everyone is connected. Imagine a Manchester Argus butterfly is flying through the room but can only move over the cotton grass. So if only one connection is missing, it has to stop. Three. The peat extractors have 30 seconds to try and remove as much peat as possible from underneath the cotton grass. To do this, you must touch the cotton grass players on their back. Four, if you are touched on the back, you must then disconnect from the other players and curl up in a ball. You are now a pile of peat. So, to recap, if your cotton grass lay face down on the floor with your arms and legs outstretched, Connect to other cotton grass by touching a hand or a foot, whatever's closest. If your peat extractors, remove the cotton grass by touching them on the back. If you get touched on the back, crawl up into a ball, you're a pile of peat. Right, now, pause the film, go and play, and then come back and unpause for the next steps. So go on, go play! Ah, welcome back. How was the game? Fun? How about fair? Did the peat extractors turn everyone into piles of peat? Was there any cotton grass left connected? And if there were, was it enough for the Manchester Argus to move around? No? No wonder the butterfly died out a hundred years ago. But don't worry, for the Carbon Landscape Partnership has planted thousands of new plants to provide food and shelter for the Manchester Argus. And in 2020, they re-released the butterfly into the landscape, so it's no longer locally extinct. <laughs> but there's still work to be done, and you can help. By planting butterfly-friendly plants, or insect-friendly bushes, at home or at school. But remember to use peat-free compost. Right. I better go, but uh, you can replay the game if you like, yeah? Change the rules to make it fairer. Change the game in favour for nature. Huh? Right, until I see you in the next game, goodbye, good luck, good gravy. Bye!